In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, in today's Gospel, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is preparing His holy apostles and disciples for what had to come. For the, the tribulations, for the temptations and the trials that had to come after His crucifixion and resurrection and ascension into heaven. So He now is preparing them because the time is near, is closed, and is preparing them that they had to suffer for His name. He said, for my name's sake. So, and he's telling them that they will be brought up to the governors in the synagogues in front of the priests and the Pharisees and so on and so forth and they will be accused by, by, because of the name of the Lord. Not because they did something wrong. No but because of my name's sake. So, at first, probably they, they did not get it. They were looking at him and probably they were looking what you're talking about. Because this is the continuation of the discussion that they had about the end times, the second coming, all the tribulation that the humanity is going it, it have, have, have to go through so and from the beginning of times the humanity is tempted to learn the future and so the, the, the disciples of Christ were, weren't different so and and from the beginning of the Christianity I think every single era generation they were trying to look into, into the future, trying to, to figure out what the prophecies are saying. And our time is not different at all. We have so many prophecies, right? And each one and every one is saying his own version. But the prophecies we know that it's not the prophet that said that prophecy, but it's the word of God that came through their mouth. So, and we know that the word of God is truth. So all that is put in the revelations and other prophecies throughout the ages, and even the newer ones, we know that they will come true. But from back then, they were questioning even Christ and after them the Apostle, the Holy Fathers. And now the same thing, we're looking, we're looking for priests that have visions that can tell the future when this will happen. So that's our biggest problem, when it, this will happen. But the thing is, we are not spiritually prepared. So, and if I will tell you, or any other priest, or whatever, or hermit, well, hermit will, will tell you that tomorrow is the end. So what you're going to do, you're prepared? Our question shall be this, am I ready? I'm doing what I must do. I'm fulfilling the commandments of the Lord this this is the actual thing that we have to focus on not the date when exactly will this happen this year this uh, Pascha or after Pascha or whatever when it's not in our hand to know that and Jesus made it pretty clear he was talking about this that had to come and for every generation, as we see, 
like for every generation in his words there is a part of his prophecies that he prophesied while being with us and we have our own part that is transmitted to us of course by Saint John in the revelations that we are living right now and other prophecies like Saint Paisius, Saint Porphyrius and others there are so many there are Russian prophecies, there are Serbian there are Romanian prophecies different so but mainly like this people they was prophesying for their nation for their people some some of them was prophesizing in general some of them what will happen like with russians with greeks with serbians with romanians and so on and so forth but again we have to focus on the bigger picture and first on our own selves because this is the the actual uh, pro problem that we are facing today. Lack of faith, lack of love, lack of understanding. So if we will work on these things and we will love accordi accordingly and live accordingly, then uh, not, not, nothing can uh, put us to shame or any, any, any other thing. But because we are not there spiritually, so we are looking elsewhere. We want exact dates and, 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 and any other prophecies that can make. Because I heard like, oh, Father, you know, if we had somebody like Elder Ephraim to tell us what exactly to do. And even Father Ephraim, he never said like exactly what will happen. He was giving us hints, right? They said things, but never, no one like St. Paisio, St. Porphyrius, they never said with exact dates. They said, prepare that when will, will happen this, so this will happen. When you'll see that, this will happen, right? So they, they gave us hints, but they, they never gave, but gave us exact dates. So, and we are looking, and I'm talking about our Orthodox Christian faithful. Oh, we need someone to tell us exactly what, where and when and how. Nobody's going to tell you exactly. Because this is not something magic, you know, that, oh, <laughs> like the those people that are uh, going with uh, the dem demons, the evil ones, and uh, tell telling some fairy tales and some kind of future. It, the devil cannot tell the, the future. That's uh, pretty clear. He can tell you what he can see, what will happen, like across the street, but uh, not in long term because he, he, he doesn't know that. So, but using the, the people minds, and, minds and, and tricking them, and they think that, oh yeah, you know, the, these people this actually have uh, the gift of God. But it's not, it's not about that even. It's more on the words that we, we heard. We have to trust God, first of all, in his word. So, and to, to, un to understand this better, like how we trust God, we have to love, to love first, right? But lo loving God, that's a big thing because we are talking about something that we didn't see. So like imagine a child like during the summer, we used to send them to the summer camp, right? One week, two weeks, whatever. Maybe we, we send them in, in, in Greece for one month. So what happened when, when they come back? They hug their parents, I miss you, right? Love. 
So while they are with the parents, uh, they are playing PlayStation, whatever, Xbox, and whatever other devices, watching TV. So they don't care about their parents, right? But if they are away for a little bit, they miss them. So, but if we lose them, then it's even worse, right? So now, we're not any better than those kids in our relationship with them, with God. Our relationship with God is the same because we never saw him. We're doing our thing, right? Here and there, taking our own decisions. We're not taking into account God and uh, his commandments and even the, the priests, who cares what the priests know, right? So, and we're making, doing our thing and we're finding ourselves in a big trouble and we don't know how to, you know, we are trapped in that maze of this troubled life and we don't know how to get out of it. And what happens, we're dying spiritually and after we're dying with our body as well. So, and we're losing both worlds. We're living a miserable life here and we will suffer forever there because we don't know to love and we're not listening to God and his commandment. So you see when you look at the bigger picture from a different angle, you see it differently. So that's why first, you know, we have to analyze God's words all the times, to analyze his words, what he meant with that. So, and he is, is pretty clear that yes, we will go through difficulties for, for his name's sake. And he, even he's pointing that uh, in, in our own families, because of Christ, there is division. People, oh, I don't want to, to go to the church. My wife, it's like church goer, and it's just like, I'm tired of, of it. She's all about church and all about services and all about that. All, everywhere I can sing, incense and, and that and that and that. So, and this is not against their wife or against their husband. It's against Christ, right? Or even children. Oh, I don't want to go to the church. Leave me alone. You know, again, it's a big problem. And Jesus is saying that we will be given up by our own either parents or our, our, our own children. And we saw that. Those that grew up in communism, how many people were betrayed by their own families? Their own families would tell to the police officer or whatever, oh, he has icons in, in his house, and will come and send you to Siberia, your own family. So, and you think in our days is better? No, we're not better. We're not better. Maybe we are worse than those that lived 50, 70 years ago. Because at least they had some this sort of sense of love and in, in our days and respect and forget it. You can die on the street and nobody will say a thing, right? And especially when we're talking about Christ. Look at this situation just started last year with this pandemic, right? Oh, those that uh, not, are not wear, wearing uh, masks and uh, are doing the services in the church and oh, they're crazy, right? So what is this? It's, all, it's our own families, our own people, our own bishops, our own priests, right? So see, when you look at it from a different angle, you, you see a bigger spectrum of it. It's sad, yes, it's very sad and painful, but this is the bitter truth. The bitter, the, the bitter reality that we live in. We are contemplating this every day, on a daily basis, and what we are doing about it. So these are the actual problems that we have to uh, confront. 
to work with. So as you see, his words are 100% there. And we have to confront them. We have to, we have to stand up for, for our belief, for our faith, for our salvation. Because this is the, the actual matter. Not the dates. The dates, who cares? Today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, in one year, in 10 years, in 100 years, what matters? Where is our soul? And where is going to be after we leave this temporary world? So think, let's think about this, my dear ones, and let's implement the words of God that he said, those that will endure to the end, those are going to be saved. So let's listen to his words and let's make sure that we are following his words and standing up for him, for him and his truth and not hiding ourselves because whoever, he said, whoever will be ashamed of me and my words and my gospel, I will be ashamed of him in front of my father. So let's make sure that uh, we are keeping his words and standing up for the truth. God bless you all. Amen. Yeah,